Hi, welcome to this computer system. It's not Arco, but it is very close. We made an article an, or a video about Arch Linux, how to install Arch Linux phase one, two, three, four, and then install and end up with a Qtile version. A Qtile that's actually pretty much a copy of Arch Linux, but the delivery system is different. I've used the Arch Linux ISO, and that's why it says up here Arch Rolling, and not the Arch Linux way of installing. Not Arch Linux, not the D, and not the B. So basically, my message to you in all the videos, in all the desktops that I am working on, is think out of the box, please. This is still Arch Linux slash Arch Linux. This is still the Saturday icons and all the settings and Firefox and all the tweaks and the themes and the configurations they're there, but it's, we started off with a different ISO. So please um, keep in mind, and I tend to do that to just go ahead and install or explain something on a different desktop. It's just a desktop, that's what it is. And you have 13 choices and what feels right, what's good for your workflow, that's the one you, you stick with, right? So the video is about W. PS Office, that's something completely entirely different. Ctrl Alt F is going to launch Firefox as usual. We're going to look for Office WPS and have a look. Let's kill Office uh, Firefox first so we get a bigger screen here. That happens often in tiling window managers which is Qtile. So WPS Office compatible with. So let's have a look. What does it say? You can download it, but this button gives you an executable and an exe is nothing that you need on your system of Linux. So a lot of information, have a look. And then you want to download. Let's see what we get here. So that's the executable, cancel. The button up here gives you more choice for computer, for mobile, and somewhere that was Linux. Then we are actually at a different, not yet, not yet on a different website. So you read as okay, something to have PowerPoint and Word and Excel. Okay, fine, to download or learn more. Linux community, and then we are in a different website. So get it now is going to be your download. So it used to be Kingsoft's Office, if you've heard that name. It seems to have changed to WPS for sure. Definitely. So, either you say get it now and you download it, product download, have a read, and then you have either the Debian version, which is an Ubuntu version, <coughs> 32, 64, and Red Hat Package Manager, these guys are available. But why bother, really? Let's go and kill the Conky first. So you see at the right here that this Conky is all black. That's because we are on VirtualBox. So the Compton Conf is made to look great on an SSD or hard disk, and there the Conky will be transparent. There is a line in the Compton Conf that you can actually edit. Let's do it, Eric. Let's do it. So it's not that difficult. Just go to the scripts, to the Compton Conf. Here it is. Control find virtual world box. Virtual synchroni synchronization match. The this breaks transparency in virtual box. So this is great on a real machine, bad on a uh, computer. So let's kill all this. And now we have transparency. By the way, the button I pressed was Control Alt O. So Control Alt O toggles the the Compton on and off. So let's kill it anyway. Don't want it. Don't need it. It's just there. Kill Conky is not <laughs> exist. This is an alias that we have in Arch Linux. This is not Arch Linux. So kill all Conky. I have to type a little bit more. Okay, Conky is dead. How do we install stuff? on Arch Linux, Arch Linux. We have installed Yay. Uh, you can also use Trizen, but 
that's what we've done in the video. You just check it out how I did it on Arch. And this is a lot of software. So um, I'm guessing you first go to WPS Arch Wiki. That's my way of reasoning. I want to learn something about the package. I go and see if there is information on the website, on the wiki. So they say install WPS Office AOR, but maybe optionally install also MS with WPS fonts. So I'm thinking already, hey, um, upon my next SSD, I would like to have a little script to install WPS WPS without too much trouble. So this is the guy opening it with sublime text. So that's the one I want to install, correct? And then it ends. So I'm gonna improve my script. It seems that having the fonts improves WPS Office. Fine, so copy paste. I'm not going to install WPS Office again. I'm going to install TTF. Ooh, I'm not uh, not able to select this thing, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, good enough. And I'm gonna get that guy as well. Like so. Save. So for next time, next installation, I'll have a script around. But for now, let's have some fun in the terminal. So one and two. Anything else? WPS Office Extension English UK. Okay, Spanish Dictionary. Okay, so you can add numbers to the elements you like. If you want Office in French, there seems to be an Office, probably multi-user interface or something. I don't know. So language, and then Poland. Brazil, no, I don't know, PT, br, I don't know, Portuguese, Hong Kong, Chinese. So you check out the languages. Then we move up. There is some extension for from Microsoft Windows 10 symbol fonts. So if you need your symbol fonts, then you can install that. For instance, if you're a teacher in, in uh, mathematics, I suppose you'll need a lot of uh, symbols. Ukrainian or engineer, of course, something like that. Italian dictionary. So you scroll up and see if there's anything really that you say, I'd like that to have that too. So there's a Dutch dictionary here as well, which I could use. But basically for me, that's enough. Number one and two is going to install these uh, two packages and that's for me great. Now, it's uh, downloading, fine. What you can do extra is go for Arch Linux WPS, right? Office. And you have a link here, Arch Wiki there. Videos to see how other people do it. Office Stable, it seems, there's as well. So, I don't know what I've installed. I think it's just WPS Office, yeah. There is no stable in AOR, I see. We can always try and see if we find it. Yay, and then WPS Office stable, there is. So it must be down here in the list somewhere. There is a stable version and this is, aha, all right, got it. So that's the reference to the stable version. And what I installed is of course the very last version, 11. So, okay, good to know. So we've learned something, but I'd rather like ha having the last one. Now the speed is very, very slow. If that happens, control C, control C and do it again. A little bit faster, no, yes, no. Well, we'll have to be patient. What else? So you, we're learning together about WF Office. So this is what my mind will do, what I'll 
look for on the net to figure everything out. Think out of the box, right? So Manjaro, visit the websites, the forums, you'll find solutions for your system. And it's as simple as that as reading and scrolling through through it. And yes, we have installed that one. And this one as well, they say, uh-huh. Okay, so let's get that one as well and see if it improves anything. Let's see if it exists. All right, it does exist. So there is not much room lost if you have installed a font. The font is nothing really. So getting that in. So this guy is going to be installed like so. And that's how we improve our script for next time. And we read and we read and uh, dictionaries are checked. This is version 10, Debian package. All right. How to install WFS, WPS Office on Linux. There are Ubuntu stuff and there is other stuff. Scrolling through. So these are the general commands for Debian, apt-cat and all that. And here are Arch Linux instructions and they are going to git clone everything. So git cloning, yeah, that's okay. But uh, making a package, that's, that's all fun. But yay minus S and then choose a number is far easier. So, okay, so we've not learned anything more. There is also the snap store, which I'm not a big fan of because of the icons, they, they tend to disappear and make it difficult. Another forum, think out the box, right? Um, Tergos is, has lots of information and you can always find solutions here as well. So, there are some questions, I found it easier. So they still did it in 2016, of course, with yaourt. Yaourt is no more. Happy yaourting, fine. And this is Dutch. Sorry for the Dutch. <laughs> so, fine. You start typing everything in. Let's see how it goes here in the end. He wants to know my password. Here it is. And now WPS is still working. Let's see if we can do both. All right, this one doesn't work. Error downloading sources. So what do you do? I'm gonna go to my other screen and I'm gonna go to EUR, DTF, WPS, Win10. Gonna log in. Log in. And what you do is you make sure that this package is um, flagged package out of date. And then you say, what do we say? We say error downloading sources. Thanks for fixing the issue. Flag. There you go. It's flagged out of date. The maintainer dreaming in code will get a mail and then he'll know that something is wrong. Otherwise, if nobody tells him, he will not know it. Okay. What else? Here we can watch some video. This is KDE, pydom.com. Anything interesting here? Missing fonts, they say, wingdings, wingdings too. So depending if you like the, if you want, you need the symbols, you have to change that. Here's something about DPE. It 
So I make a note in my mind that I install it in KDE and see if anything is wrong. In that particular desktop, here is Linux Mint. Download the package, Debian, download this, download that, install it, and then you have your office. Check out other articles, okay? So basically that's how you approach any new thing, any new application, tips and tricks is something I type always as well, and see if they can, people give me some clues as to what's interesting for this particular um, application. There are some shortcuts, 11 tips. Sounds good, it's in Dutch, but no problem for me. So tip one, WS Office, Kingston Office, Chinese origin, it says. There are some configurations we can do. There is some spelling we can set. And then we have page two. Clouds, we can store stuff in the cloud. Graphical elements, alineas, or paragraphs probably in English. Tables, and that's it. Oh, page three, sorry. Animation. So some things to go over and see if it's uh, any good. All right, how are you doing, my friend? So Kingston Office or WPS Office, including the writer, presentation, spreadsheets, a powerful office suit, and it looks like it's um, everything that it likes to have. The optional dependencies are installed, so that's good. So the DTF WPS of fonts have been installed. All right. The only thing we could do is this this thing here. So the DTF WPS Windows 10, but since it's uh, broken, I'm not going to put it in my script. Okay, let's have a look. Now, launching anything, Control D. Do we have it installed? Because I'm on Qtile. I have it installed. WPS. This is the application. End user agreement, blah, blah, blah. I decline, I accept. Let's kill our browser. New document, new tab, open, recent visit, this desktop. Okay, new document. I've opened this one. Looks nice, right? Looks fresh. All right. Still having Azerti, okay. We're gonna save this, yes, save it. Whoa, what's this? Well, that's basically probably your uh, window tiling manager. I'll have a look in another one. Nope. You might miss a theme, that's possible too. But the icons are beautiful, very well designed, new. A lot of things to learn from. I mean, this, well, it's your standard word, let's say. So if you know that, I probably know this as well. I am wondering where my Excel is. That's something else. What did we get? WPS. Okay. It won't show me. We have a tool. We have a tool, WPS is installed. That's the office. What did it do? It put files called WPP, WPS. So that's my PowerPoint probably. And all the libraries are here. Libraries, 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 all oh, libraries, lots of libraries. How much I'm scrolling here. So a lot of scrolling. All right, a 
and some share icons and that's it so basically I can do ET let's do that that's the spreadsheet and I can do another one I can do WPP that's the presentations and then we found by accident WPS now this is a queuing uh, um, tiling window manager meaning it's uh, kind of different really you don't have a start button and you go to the menu but it will work like that in uh, let's say XFC or, or Mate or something similar so we launch everything in here via my control T super F11 for instance but I need to know the name right I need to know the name and it's down here ET and that's how we launch elements and that's it for me okay let's conclude the video here I hope um, you learned something it's been a slow video a long video but um, this needs to go up so I'll push it so everything that you put on on uh, github you can get it with git clone and git push is going to put it back on or with my command here git it's going to put, be put online so we'll have this wps fonts as extra that's the only thing i guess i did the other one was broken so this guy probably not a good idea to include it for now we'll see so he's out for the time being safe all right that's it for me uh, have fun using wps office and i heard i hope i've learned you some tricks <laughs>